how to share your Google Calendar with someone. First of all, you need to log into your Google account. For me, I'm already logged in with my Google Chrome. So I've opened up my Google Chrome and now let's go to calendar. You can go to the top right, which is the nine dots. Click on it and you can see the word calendar. Just click on it. Or alternatively, all you can do is just type calendar.google.com. So now we are in the Google Calendar. So let's see at the left side. Okay, you scroll down. I can see your calendar here you can just click the plus icon you can subscribe to a calendar create new calendar browse calendar or let me check other calendars or i'll just create a new calendar for this case so i just want to say test calendar so you can see the owner and organization here if you're using a normal google account you won't see the organization here because i'm using an account for my mba studies that's why you can see there's an organization here so let's just create calendar Go back here, scroll here, you can see there's a calendar called test here. So I want to share this calendar test. You can share other calendars as well, it's all up to you. But I'll just use this as a test reference for this video. So you can see here test, you can even delete it if you want to. So now let's share this calendar to someone else. So it's very easy, you see the calendar here. Just click on the three dot beside the calendar. And you see here settings and sharing, just go there. And there you can scroll, you can see there's a few options. Make available to public or make available within the organization uh, now we're just gonna show you how to share with specific people first then I'm gonna explore everything that's on top so to share with specific people you can just add people here put in their email address and you can see there's different permissions so you just click on here you can see permissions you can see only so this you can only see whether that calendar is free or busy good for people that wanted to for example book a call with you and they cannot see the details of the calendar or the event so next is see all event details basically you open up you can see everything I cannot change so make changes to events that means you person can go into the events and make changes make changes and manage sharing basically you can share the calendar else to someone else so depending on which kind of permission you want that's how you can give it to them I just want them to see the event details just click on it and click send so what happened is this person which is my another email will receive an email that there's someone sharing the calendar to that person so let me show you the email and how it looks like so you can see I received an email here I shared a calendar with you just click on it and you can see you can add this to a calendar or you can view a calendar so you can this is all the options here and you can even change the permission here accordingly if you want to remove just have to click the X icon and then you'll be removed one thing to take note <laughs> right in the middle of the video if you want to share your calendar you can only be done in computer so you cannot do it with your phone app so come to computer and get it done so next, I'm going to show you how you can share with public. As you can see, it's on top only. So you can just make this available to public or not. If you make it available public, you can just click on here. We'll make all the events visible to the world, including Google search. Are you sure? Uh, it's up to you if you want to. I do not want to. So you can see all event details or only see when you're free, busy, detail, hide details. I think this is okay if you want to, for example, let other people see whether you're free or not. You can get the shareable link. Just click on the link, copy link. And let me open up my other account again and show you how it looks like. So this is my another account uh, let's just open a new tab and let me show you how the calendar will look like so once you click on the link it will appear here at calendar i'm not sure why it's all this it could be the calendar id so you can just click add or just cancel i don't want to add and just click cancel or you can just make it only specific to organization so as mentioned this is a university account so if i do not want to make it a public i only make it available for people within this domain so you can see all details or hide so for this you can have more minimal options again this could be a restriction being held by the business owner organization itself so yeah so that's how you can share your google calendar out so just to recap i've shown you how to create a new calendar within your google account so they can share to other people i've shown you how to share with specific people how to share the calendar to specific people i show you how to share it to public i show you how to share to organizations only people within your organization can see your calendar i've also show you how you can change the permissions I show you how to remove the people that you shared with you can just click the x here or just untick here so yeah so that's how easily you can share your google calendar to someone else if you like what i share give me a like and also subscribe to this channel if you have not done so thank you and i see you next time goodbye